If life were divided into three parts, which one would you choose? The main road? Or the one less traveled by? Or would you have the courage to aim for the waters and swim against the stream? A wise woman once told me, the world belongs to the brave. I believed her. This summer we moved into our van to live with the creativity of nature's mind and in harmony with the wild. Not because we were ready, but because we were fearless. Do you want to come along? This is the first time since we left home that we stayed in one place for more than a day. We finally had the opportunity to build a proper camp outside the van, something we both loved to do, but hadn't found enough peace and quiet to enjoy until now. But here we are, all alone, in the midst of the mountains, and really cherishing this moment in tranquility. So we just had breakfast and we are going to stay the day as well before wrapping things up and we are about to go to a really really cool place just nearby. It's called the Castle of Marbles. Uh, it's really unique, we have seen it, we have been there before uh, a few years ago but it's so worth to go there again. Uh, you guys gonna love it, I'm gonna show you, let's go. Late that night, we began our journey towards Moirana and the Marble Castle. The first sign that we were getting closer was the crystal blue water leading up to this enchanting place, which originates from the glaciers. At 3 a.m. we started walking along a small forest path, accompanied only by the melodies of early morning birds. 
The marble castle has been sculpted over countless years by natural forces such as wind, water, and ice. The rocks are metamorphic and the visitors are encouraged to tread barefoot to protect her sensitive stones. While the stones might be delicate, the rest of her is absolutely untamed. We haven't filmed much this last few days since we are just pretty much going from A to B. We are driving from Muirana, which is pretty high up north in Norway, uh, further down to Jeiranger. Uh, so it's gonna take us some time. So we have basically just doing our miles uh, lately. Uh, we also chose, instead of going the main road, we chose to travel the coastline, which basically means we drive, we jump on a ferry, then we drive again, jump on another ferry, and, and so forth. And I guess we are going to do that for a couple of more days. Uh, it's also been raining, uh, so yes, spending time on the road is pretty much all that we have been doing. However, today it's a beautiful day, so we made a decision to stay and spend one entire day at this little gem, which I will show you very soon, and just soaking some sun. Uh, I will make some dinner now, and after that we are probably hitting the road again though. doing some potatoes and this is my cooking view pretty nice still in between the mountains making some salad of course some greens I just wanted to show you this guys so we are coming from the north which means there is actually consistent daylight 24 hours a day um, during summer but look at this this is the first blue hour I've seen in more than a month and it's actually going to be dark tonight good morning another day another ferry and another long day spent on the road. It's 
After another couple of hours of driving, we finally came to the beginning of the most scenic road in Norway, the Atlantic Ocean Road. It stretches 8.3 kilometers along the coastline and harmoniously integrates with its natural surroundings. This creates a seamless blend of man-made structure and the untamed beauty of the Atlantic Ocean. That was the Atlantic Ocean Road for you guys. Hope you enjoyed it as much as we did. We are at the end of the road now and this is where we will spend the night. So this was all we got for this time. We are wrapping things up to go to see new places. If you enjoyed the video, please support us by giving the video a thumbs up and uh, subscribe to the channel if you want to see more. Uh, see you soon!